A North Carolina teenager faces sex crime charges this morning after trading nude photographs with his girlfriend. But prosecutors consider both teenagers to be victims and criminals for sexting. The boy is now suspended as a quarterback of his high school football team. They were both 16 at the time. The boyfriend faces five counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. The girlfriend was charged with two counts. But those charges were dropped after she took a plea deal. The boyfriend, by the way, we are not naming their names. He heads to court this month. CBS News legal expert Ricky Kleeman is a former sex crimes prosecutor and joins us at the table. This is one of those things, Ricky, where you go, what? Because well, it was consensual for both sides. That's what I don't understand. It may, be, it may have been a bad, a silly thing to do, but it was consensual. It is indeed consensual. This is kind of Alice in Wonderland in the form of technology reaches mm. the law. When I first read this story, and I am not joking with you, I read the first paragraph over and over and over again because I thought I read it wrong. Yeah. I didn't think this was possible. Consider this. If you are 16, you are considered an adult as a defendant in terms of committing a crime. You can be charged as an adult. If you are 16, you are also considered a minor in terms of if you get exploited. So she and he separately are each arrested and charged with exploiting themselves Them so. as minors. Now let's just think about that logic. Mm -hmm. So we're left with him right now because she wisely, appropriately on the part of the prosecutor, if she had to be charged at all, which I do think is preposterous, that she winds up pleading to a misdemeanor. She's on a probation for a year. Her record will be expunged at the end of the year if she follows her conditions. He, however, has to go to court this month. He is facing five charges. Four of them are for sexually exploiting himself as a minor for the photos he has on his own cell phone of himself. The other one is for the consensual photo he got from his girlfriend. They're romantically involved. He had not shown that photo to anyone else, did not disseminate it. The only people who saw that were the police or and the how sheriff's did the, office. And so how did the police discover these photographs? The police or the sheriff's office were investigating another crime. They went to him in connection with the other crime, which apparently he had nothing to do with. He agreed, because he's 16 years old, to let them rifle through his phone. Oh, my goodness. And they find, because he consented, uh, pictures of himself that are inappropriate. And then they find the picture of her, and so it snowballs. Now, the police want to be the deterrent value here. Deterrent value should come from parents, should come from educators. We do not want to criminalize our teens for doing stupid things mm -hmm. on their cell phones. My word to the kids is, don't take pictures of yourself. Maybe you know. shouldn't we rethink the law? We should this, rethink this law the law. Wasn't meant for this. Of course not. And the only mm. way to deal with the law is to get the legislature to clarify it. Yeah. All right. Ricky Clayman. How do you feel, Ricky Clayman? Boy, I, I, at least I didn't even need coffee this morning. <laughs> All right, got it.